What up, guys? What up? What up? I am Lou. Today, guys, we're going to talk about how easy is it to install Python on Windows and to use it. All right, guys, before we get started, if you give me a follow, give me a like, man. I really appreciate it. Thanks for all the support, guys, and let's get started. So, the other day on Reddit, I saw this post, and it was pretty much talking about how Windows, Python, and Windows don't mix. It's not ideal. Um, they don't work well. You know, Python should be used on Linux and Mac only, right? That was kind of their um, their input. So, and the reason why, and this is kind of why I want to make the video because it's kind of not true anymore. Anymore, right? I'm saying anymore. So, when I first started using Python, which would have been maybe like 10 years ago or so, I installed it on Windows. And honestly, it was a pain in the ass to install. I had some issues installing it. I had some issues getting it to work. Uh, but today, in 2022, that's not the case anymore. Dude, Python is easy to get started. It's easy to, to, to install. It's literally as simple as going to python.org, downloading the the version that you want, let's say the latest, the latest stable version, uh, which would be in this case, Python 3.10. And that's it guys. You're good to want to install it. Just kind of follow the, where you want to, um, do you want to make it available for our users or just strictly you? But af after that, you're, you're done, man. You're good to go. You go to your terminal, type in Python, boom, it's active. You can start using it, you know? And so, and then on top of that, I think, in my opinion, when it comes to having multiple versions installed on Windows is easier than having multiple versions install Linux because this was a couple of months ago, I ended up installing um, the beta version of 3.11b or whatever it was called and doing some testing on my Linux machine. And then I had some issues where um, it's almost like, you know, I had to change um, a, to even install it was not straightforward. I had to download, I had to reconnect to a different um, package system to be able to get that installed. And, and, and I mean, again, it wasn't as straightforward as with Windows, literally just download, install, good to go. And then of course, the only difference is instead of typing Python to activate it or to use that interpreter version, maybe it was like Python 3.11 or whatever, right? Whatever the version is. And that's how you activated that version. Uh, again, so kind of going back to the question, um, does Python work well with Windows? And the answer is yes. How do I know? Cause I even use it today. I, I, I use three operating systems on a daily basis, three. I'm gonna say it again on a daily basis. Not that I have used it in my whole career in a daily basis, my workstation Linux, my streaming station, which is what I'm using now. And, and I do, code on here because of my YouTube videos and things of that nature is Windows. And then of course I have a MacBook Pro when I travel. So anytime I'm away from my office and I'm just wherever I'm at, I just work there. And the same thing, I code on that and do everything. And I'm using all three on a weekly basis. Um, so I'm speaking from my own experience, not past, oh, well I used Windows back in the day and it was a pain in the ass. And then so today, you know, I'm saying that, oh, it, it's bad. It's not, man. It used to be bad. It is not bad no more. It is very easy to get Python installed on Windows, get it to work. All of that's way easier than what it was 10 years ago or even before. A lot of people had issues as well in the past. But again, it t as of today, way easier, guys, way easier. So whenever I hear some people tell other people, Oh yeah, Python should not be used for Windows because it just, it's its difficult to set up and it's difficult to use. Like, no, that's not true, man. That tells me that they are basing these opinions, their, their opinions on either historical experiences, uh, but they're not basing it as of today, right? As of right now, today. And um, you gotta be careful, guys. But again, Python works well with Windows. I don't see any issue with using Python with Windows at all. Honestly, I use an all three operating systems all the time and I, I don't I don't really have issues um, in general. There's some potential packages that you have to install the binary version if you're working on different operating systems. 
Um, but nevertheless, besides that, overall, everything works pretty smooth, guys. So at the end of the day, if you're trying to use Python and you want to install Python, it doesn't matter what operating system you have. Whether you have Windows, Mac, or Linux, it all works well. Now, the benefit, I would say, from Mac, Linux, Python is just included out of the box. And I believe as of right now, it's including version 3.9, uh, which is which is a good version to have by all means. So again, right off the box, you can start using it without even having to install it. So that's the only advantage I will say. I think Windows will get there eventually. They just haven't got there yet. But nevertheless, to install it, easy, easy to use. Doesn't matter, guys. Don't listen to people that say, oh, Windows and Python don't work well because that's a bunch of BS. It does. I use it all the time. There's no issues with it. It used to be issues in the past, but it's not anymore, guys. Hopefully, um, this kind of gives you some input on if you ever have heard that question as well, or if you have some kind of doubts if Python should be used on Windows. And again, hopefully this helps you out. Again, guys, give me a like, give me a follow if you can, and peace.